$525 in a single month for low-income and fixed-income beneficiaries. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, I'm going to be sharing some helpful information, especially if you are somebody who is low-income or fixed-income. There are so many different programs out there right now to help you out with additional assistance on an ongoing monthly basis, which I want to point out for you so you can take advantage of all of these programs or as many as you possibly can. And I'm also going to be sharing with you a real story right here in this video. So let's get into it and discuss all these details as I want to help you get as much as you possibly can right now. So let's get right into it. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe down below so I can keep you updated each and every day with everything going on right now during this very busy time, especially as it pertains to money, benefits, raises to benefits, checks, stimulus, programs, reform, new bills, or anything else that may be popping up right here right now during this very busy time. As we know that Congress is working on a variety of different things right now, and we do note that there are continuous proposals coming out of Congress, lawmakers, and a variety of other people to send out ongoing checks, one-time checks, as well as all of these other programs that continue to hit the wire. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, so you don't miss any videos going forward during this very busy time, and I'll continue to be here for you right by your side every single day, as I am your one and only daily advocate, and I am very much dedicated to you and this community, and I'm going to stick to it. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Subscribe down below, and let's get into it and discuss all the details you need to know right here in this video, as well as what is actually going on and what can you take advantage of right now. All right, let's get into this. So, as I mentioned, right now, as a result of everything that has gone on since early uh, 2020 until present with the whole COVID situation, there are so many more programs out there available to the low income and fixed income. And a lot of these programs have record funding right here, right now, which I want to point out for you. Now, here's the thing. I do know that a lot of you here in this community are low income or fixed income beneficiaries. As a default, the vast majority of you are eligible for these programs. You're pretty much already grandfathered in to getting benefits for these programs. You just need to apply, okay? So here's the thing. I want to help you out. I know that money is incredibly tight right now. I know that things are very, very expensive. It's literally impacting every single person. And I know this stuff continues, uh, all these prices continue to get, get away from everybody. As a result of that, I want to point some things out to you because you can take advantage of this. And I don't know why anybody wouldn't take advantage of this when it's um, completely uh, available to you. There are literally billions of dollars on the table right now, and you can always grab your share of the pie. As I've always said before in all the videos, I wanna help you grab your share of the pie. Literally, when there are billions of dollars sitting on the table, there's always something available to you. You just gotta figure out how to get it. And that's what I wanna share with you here in this video. And then again, I also do wanna share with you a short story talking about $525 monthly for low income. So let's talk about this. All right, so first off, when it comes down to it, there are, like I said, multiple programs. Let me quickly run through a couple here just so you can hear what these are. And again, I know that some of you are already taking advantage of these programs, but at the end of the day, if you're not taking advantage of all of these, if you have not applied for all of them, Seriously, do it. There's no reason that you shouldn't be applying for these. These programs have billions and billions and billions of dollars and they don't even know what to do with it, right? The money is sitting there and they're asking people, please sign up for our programs. We've established these programs. We want to be heroes and we want to send this money out to all the people. So please apply for our program. Why not? Seriously, it's free money. All right, so first off, the LIHEAP program, Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program. I know it doesn't sound very fancy. It doesn't sound like the most exciting thing in the world. But would it be exciting to you if I told you that this program could pay $525 for you? on a monthly basis. Now, again, if your utilities are $222 a month, then that's what they would pay. They're not gonna pay you an extra for it. But my point is, this is a program that is available all across the country. They have billions and billions of dollars of funding. They have record funding right now, and uh, and you can still take advantage of this. They will help you with your heating and cooling bills. That's it. They're not going to help you with your water. They're not going to help you with your groceries. They're not going to help you with your car or gas or your rent. Nothing like that. It's literally your heating and your uh, cooling. That's it. But the deal is, this time of year, especially with all these heat waves going around the country, um, be pretty, sure would be pretty. Be, be, sorry, it sure would be pretty nice to be able to run the air conditioning um, as much as you want and then not have to worry about a huge bill hitting your uh, hitting your mailbox, right? 
Well, that's also what I want to talk about right here because somebody right here in this community, uh, Carrie, by the way, nice to see you. Thanks for reaching out. Uh, Carrie reached out and said, hey, the LIH EAP program just paid $525 for my utilities. This should be a huge help. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's huge. That's unbelievable. I mean, seriously, that is unreal right there. $525. Imagine that. If you're somebody who is receiving maybe SSI or SSDI and you're getting $841 a month or $900 a month, $525 is the vast majority of your monthly income just going out the window to utilities. Um, would that be a huge help? Yeah, it'd be a huge help. A huge, huge help, right? It's unbelievable. That is incredible. So that's massive. I also had somebody else reach out to me and say they had the exact same program pay for them. This was about a month ago, by the way. This other uh, number I'm going to say here, another person reached out about a month ago and said they just paid $237 for their utilities. Again, huge, huge help. Again, even $237 is a huge percentage of the monthly income for somebody receiving SSI or SSDI, retirement benefits, and all of these other things. So here's what I also want to point out. Check this program out. I know that I've talked about this before in previous, pro, uh, in previous videos. I'm completely aware of that. But the fact of the matter is, if you're not taking advantage of these programs, I don't know what you're waiting for. Seriously, it is free money on the table to pay your bills for you. This is like a dream come true. Who wants to pay their bills? Let's be real right now. Pretty much anybody, right? I don't wanna pay bills. Do you wanna pay your bills? I certainly don't wanna pay mine, but I have to, right? Everybody has to pay their bills. Nobody wants to for the most part, but everybody has to pay their bills. So if you could get somebody else, a government program to pay your bills for you, wouldn't that be like the best of all the worlds, right? A government program paying your bills. I don't know, sounds pretty appealing to me, right? <laughs> so check this program out. Again, you can do a simple internet search. Just type in your location. For example, type in uh, Kentucky and then write L-I-H-E-A-P or Texas, L-I-H-E-A-P, California, L-I-H-E-A-P, you know, whatever. Your state and then followed by uh, that, that acronym, L-I-H-E-A-P, and you should be able to get some results. Now, I also do want to talk about some other details here as well because, okay, so that is for utilities, right? It's for uh, your electricity and your gas bills, your, like your utilities to help you heat and cool your home, right? Well, obviously right now, I'm hoping that none of you are actually heating, but you never know. If you want to heat, I think you could probably just open up the window and I think you'd probably be fine, right? So anyway, uh, I think many of us are working with air conditioning these days. Uh, but next, let's quickly talk about another program that's out there because this is also a cool one. And again, it's not a ton of money, but at the end of the day, something else that I want to point out for you. It is the ACP, Affordability Connectivity Program. And this one allows for you to get uh, free internet, $30 worth of free internet every single month. Super easy to apply for it. You can just go to acpbenefit.org and you can apply there. Otherwise, just go on the internet and just type in affordability connectivity program or you could simply type in ACP free internet and you'll find it. It's all over the place. Or what you could also do is call your uh, service provider and I guarantee you they're either going to have a an automated message or the first person that you talk to, the first thing that's going to come out of their mouth is, hey, would you like to take advantage of this free internet program? And all you have to say is, yeah. I'd love to, please just hook me up. That's all I want, free stuff, right? So please take advantage of that. There's money out there, tons and tons of money on that. And uh, that program is available for the low income. Here's what I also wanna point out. If you're somebody who is low income or living on a fixed income, if you receive any of the following, you are pretty much grandfathered in to getting these benefits. If you get SNAP benefits, you're in. If you have Medicaid, you're in. If you get SSI, Supplemental Security Income, you're in, okay? If any of these apply to you, whether you're an SSDI beneficiary and you get SNAP. Basically what happens is if you get any of these benefits I just mentioned, you've already been pre-qualified. They've already looked at your situation. They've already looked at your income, your housing. They've looked at all your stuff and they know if you receive SNAP by default, you are already into the program. Well, you're not technically enrolled because you got to apply first, but the fact of the matter is they've looked at your situation and they know that if you are somebody who receives SNAP benefits, which by the way, there's about 43 million SNAP beneficiaries in the country, um, they know that based on these numbers and for the qualifications and eligibility for SNAP, that you can get these benefits. So why not take advantage of them, right? So this is another one that's out there. Again, the Affordability Connectivity Program, ACP. Again, take advantage of it. You can simply do an internet search. Just type in, again, on a search engine, just simply ACP, uh, <clears throat> free internet, and you'll find it, okay? 
You don't need to write the whole thing out. I know affordability connectivity seems like, really? That's a lot to write out. Again, just write ACP, you'll find it. Otherwise, call your service provider and they can probably set you up right there. It's, it's all over the place. They want people to sign up for this. So according to the last report that I saw on this, um, they were actually anticipating about 10 million people have signed up and there's still tens of millions of families and households that are still eligible to get these benefits. So again, a lot of people out there who have not signed up for this when you can and get free internet. So anyway, point that one out. I just wanted you to, to see that one as well. Now, a couple of the programs that are not quite as popular that I do want to point out for you again as well. This one is the LIHWAP, the Low Income Home Water Assistance Program. Again, if you don't like paying your water bill, which again, who does? Um, you can get this one. Check this one out. It looks like it's in some select locations. It, to me, from what I was looking at, it does not look like it's available all across the entire country. But check it out. You might be in the area where they're offering this. You can, again, do a simple internet search, type in your location, and follow it up by LIHWAP, Low Income Home Water Assistance Program. Check out that one. Again, get your bills paid for as far as your water. So now we've covered your air conditioning, your internet, and your water is now paid for. Sounds pretty good. Now, let me throw this one out there. I know that a lot of you here in the community already know about this and you've probably already applied, but the fact of the matter is your situation does change from time to time. So if it's been a while since you've applied, you might wanna check this one out as well. And this is the SNAP program. I know that this one is completely obvious, right? We all know about SNAP, but the fact of the matter is, if it's been a year since you applied, you might wanna check it out again because your situation, I would be almost certain has changed in the last 12 months since the last time you applied. You never know. If you were denied last time or they offered you $19 a month last time, you never know. They might offer you even more because your situation is now different. Again, apply for this one as well. Um, over 43 million beneficiaries receiving SNAP benefits, which stands for Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. Again, you can simply uh, do an internet search, Otherwise, I will give you the phone number. Again, yes, I do have this phone number memorized because I, I, I look at it, I call it every so often. The number is 1-800-221-5689. Again, it's an automated system. It'll bring you to a system. Just say the state that you're located in and it'll direct you to your local office. Again, 1-800-221-5689. So check out that as well. That is for the SNAP program, free food on an ongoing monthly basis. Next, one more program is the WAP, Weatherization Assistance Program. This program is available. It's administered uh, federally, but is actually um, kind of done on a state-by-state -state basis. So simply type in your state and follow it up by Weatherization Assistance Program, and uh, you should be able to get some results there. This basically just helps you out with weatherizing your home, like maybe you know fixing up some windows, fixing up some doors, maybe insulation type work, uh, maybe foundational type work, uh, just things like this to help you better insulate your home, to keep the heat out in the summer and the cool out in the winter, keep the heat in in the winter and the AC in in the summer. Make sense? So check out that program, again, specifically focused on the low income. All of these programs are for the low income and fixed income. And like I said, Carrie reached out just a couple days ago and said, hey, I just had the LIH EAP program pay $525 toward my utilities. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty helpful. So hey, congratulations, Carrie. That is huge and that is very, very helpful. And I'm so glad that she reached out and told me this because um, it's very beneficial, right? And there's a lot of you here in the community that I know for a fact can also take advantage of these programs and you maybe not have, haven't applied yet. I wanna urge you to do this. And again, I don't know your situation. I can't guarantee that you're going to be eligible for the program, but I can tell you this much. If you're low income or you're fixed income, it never hurts to apply because you never know. Even if they can pay $100 toward your utilities every month, it's an extra $100 that you can spend on something else like food or whatever else you want. Doesn't really matter. If it can free up extra money that you're not paying toward utilities, why not? Totally makes sense to me. But again, just wanna share this video with you, this information to help you out in any way that I possibly can. So again, please make sure to subscribe down below. Also, share this video with your friends, family, and social media because you never know who might be struggling out there right now and who needs some extra assistance with all these utilities and crazy prices on everything that continue to rise literally every single month. So please be sure to share this video with your social media people like this that you might know who might need some extra assistance right now. And of course, go back and check out some of the other thousands of videos right here on the channel. Again, thanks so much for joining me. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And I'll catch you again later in the next video. Have a good one. And